his name then? No. No. After facing off Riot and Carnage, Eddie Brock and Venom are done fighting symbiotes. In Venom, The Last Dance, Tom Hardy's anti-hero will go against a powerful enemy who is much more than just a symbiote. Today at Screen Rant, we break down the origins and powers of Null, the villain in the new Venom film. Eddie. I'm with you to the end. In the trailer for Venom The Last Dance, we get our first look at Null with long, white locks of hair. Null is the creator and god of symbiotes, and is a relatively new character in Marvel Comics, making his first full appearance in 2018 in Venom No. 3. Created by writer Donny Cates and artist Ryan Stegman, Null is an ancient god who has existed across many universes. When the godlike being Celestials created the Marvel Universe, Null got angered and killed one of them. Null saw the Celestials as a threat to his Kingdom of Darkness and created the All Black, the first ever symbiote. Over the ages, Null has fought all kinds of enemies like Silver Surfer, Gore the God Butcher, and many others. Null controlled many other symbiotes through a hive mind system with him at the center. He ordered his many symbiotes to take over other human and animal forms until these symbiotes started rebelling against their master. A major moment in Null's arc comes from the Thor comics when Null sent a dragon-like symbiote called Grendel to attack Earth in medieval times. When a younger Thor defeated this dragon, he broke the hive mind connection and many other symbiotes were scattered all across the universe. Free from Null's control, these symbiotes could bond with more heroic hosts and turn away from Null's darkness. Later, many such symbiotes came together to rebel against Null and trapped him on the artificial planet called Klintar. The name translates to cage in their own language, which makes perfect sense as Null is caged in a planet that's made up of billions of symbiotes. But thousands of years later, Null can sometimes escape this planet and spread his darkness elsewhere. Perhaps this is what will happen with Null in Venom The Last Dance. In the first two Venom movies, Eddie Brock and Venom only fought other symbiotes and their hosts. But Null will be a different challenge altogether. With his godly powers and hive mind control, Null can command a whole army of symbiotes against Eddie this time. The brief glimpse of the villain in the trailer also implies that he is stranded on a planet like Clintar. Will Venom and other symbiotes be able to rebel against Null? Will the power of humanity defeat Null's eternal darkness? These are the answers that Venom The Last Dance promises to offer.